welcome back uh, my name is sunil and you are watching walk till screen cast for the beginners in part 3 we would be covering the four different points first we will be starting a walk till app and then we will be updating the models uh, and then we will be doing the make migration and migrate to update into the database and then we will be updating the template to pull the data from the back back end now uh, let us start with the existing where we have left so in the last session as we have seen uh, we have updated uh, the models.py inside the home app and then we have uh, pulled out these data into the template by creating updating the home underscore page dot html now to start with the blog app what we need to do here is we need to go inside the project folder so my project folder is inside uh, this now inside this first we need to activate the virtual environment so let us activate the virtual environment by giving a command source space vnv forward slash bin forward slash activate once again like vnv is the name of my virtual environment in your case if you have a different name so use accordingly now what we have to do here is we have to give a command called python manage.py start app blog so if you give uh, this command this command is going to create a folder inside your project folder called blog and if you uh, check the blog folder which is inside the project folder you will have couples of files and folders so first uh, folder you see here the migrations so migration is something like you know if you update anything into the models.py and then if you do make migration and migrate so the entire history is going to be Uh, getting updated here inside the migration folder then you have another file called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py uh, so this file is essentially initialize the folder as the python folder right the next file you have admin dot py so i mean if you uh, recall the standard django uh, project so when you create any app you have uh, admin dot py just to register into the admin panel and then you have apps.py which is uh, which will give you the basic uh, details of the app which you have created and then you have models.py uh, so this models.py uh, is where uh, essentially you are going to update all the database structure right uh, and then you have test.py and the views.py so like we said Uh, if you refer the wagtail documentation that we are going through uh, so this is uh, this is uh, where we are currently we have created the blog app and then we are going to add the blog inside the installed app inside the settings.py sorry uh, settings forward slash uh, base.py right so uh, in wagtail settings.py is essentially categorized into three different file called base.py dev.py and production.py so you will have the installed app section inside the base.py so let's open the base.py here and then let's update the blog uh, folder blog app uh, so what we are going to do here is we are going to add the blog here and save this uh, file then uh, go next and then uh, it says like blog index and post so what essentially is blog index and post is as per the concept like if you refer any walk uh, walk till blog or any blog or the generic like whatever the blog uh, you are browsing through internet so you will have a page where uh, all the blog title and the description uh, you know in few characters would be uh, on on a page uh, so that page is essentially known as the index page where the listing of all blog uh happens and then when you are going to click on that title or the blog uh it redirects you to the complete uh, details of the blog right so uh first what we are going to do is we are going to create a index page uh, where all the blog will be listed over there so uh, we have these imports uh 
you know i mean already we have checked into the home app earlier so same thing we are going to do here also so just open the models uh, models.py inside the home inside the blog app so we can see currently one uh, import we have from django.db import models and we are going to have three different imports as well so these three uh, imports as you can see uh, they are from the wagtail core uh, library so wagtail.core.models import page uh, and again like i said uh, I mean this Wagtail uh, library is developed on top of Django itself. So let us uh, uh, copy this and then let us go inside models.py inside the blog app and save this. So, uh, so first this class I mean we have created a class called blog index page. You can name it whatever uh, you want right but make sure you are giving the index page to simplify the nomenclature and then index page is going to have just one uh, uh, field called intro which is going to be the rich text field right. So since we have uh, the rich text field we have imported the rich text field also here and then uh, since we are going to uh, have the panel here uh, inside the admin.py so we have imported the panel here also so as per uh, the process since we have updated the models.py we are going to have the make migration and migrate so let us uh, start the open the terminal and say python manage.py make migrations so this is going to uh, uh, migrate and then uh, do the essential changes into the database by giving a command called python manage.py migrate so this will make the changes into the database now if you start the server and uh, browse to the local host on 8000 port and go to the admin panel so if you click uh, here you will have uh, uh, you can say add uh, child page here uh, inside the root page you have to do right so I will take you through once again so either if you go and click here and here you will reach to the same place or even if you click on this bird uh, and if you click here also you will reach to the uh, root page so the best practice I would uh, request you to follow is like you know just simply go and click here right so then you will have an option to create a child page so whatever the page you are going to create inside the Wagtail CMS you have to create inside the root page itself so this is the root page and then uh, you create the child page here so say uh, add child page then you can see the two types of uh, types of pages reflecting here the first earlier we do had a home page just now we have updated the blog index page so you can see the one option as a blog index page so click on blog index page and then um, give the title name blog and you can say here this is my blog index page and make sure in promote section you have the slug blog then you can give the page title as a blog and you can say uh, wagtail demo blog and then uh, you go and publish this uh, page right uh, one more thing that uh, we are going to cover here is just a couple of seconds back we have created, uh, we have uh, clicked on add child page and it was showing two different options so let's say if you are developing a website uh, or portal the huge portal where uh, 15 or 20 different types of uh, pages are there so essentially you are going to have the different different class inside the home page home app or let's say if you are creating a, your your own app so you can have your own app and you can create the different different class for the different different page type uh, so currently we have two different uh, classes so one diff one class as we have seen inside the home app so if you go inside the home app you see here uh, one is the home page here which you can see as a page type 
and then we have another class uh, inside the blog models.py blog index page so therefore these two classes itself is showing here right so if you would like to have uh, different classes different page type for your requirement you, ca you can create your own uh, page type uh, based on whatever the fields you need within that page right uh, in the previous uh, screencast as we have uh, discussed like Voctil is so beautiful that you can customize it the way you want right so now uh, since we have uh, created a blog index page so if you go and click on this bird you can see one uh, page one uh, page here called blog and then if you go and browse through the local host on 8000 port and go forward go on forward slash say blog let's say we do have uh, something called template uh, does not exist that means uh, the models is ready we have the views we have the urls but the template is not there right in Wagtail, one more uh, uh, beautiful things is there is like uh, you don't have to create your views or you don't have to write your own url this url and views are getting uh, created handled automatically uh, if, if you can refer the django uh, standard django application where you have to create your own views you have to write your own url uh, and then you have to create your own template in case of Wagtail, that is not there right so what we are going to do here is we are going to create one html page uh, called blog underscore index underscore page dot html right so if you refer the documentation um, so we have did the make migration and then we have migrate and then uh, we are going to create one template inside the blog uh, app folder and then we are going to have a folder called templates so go inside the blog app folder and then uh, create a new folder called templates and then um, you go here again you create one new file new folder called blog and inside the blog folder you create one HTML so create one folder called blog and inside this one create create one file called blog underscore index underscore page dot HTML right and then uh, you save this one and then uh, hopefully this error should go away so now refresh it if it's not going go and uh, stop the server and start the server again and now you see the error has gone you can see the blank page currently this blank page is coming because uh, the t template has nothing so if you can go and type here uh, h2 blog index page so this h2 tag uh, will show up here if everything is correct so you can see here the blog index page but this is not what exactly we are we have to do right we have to have the database uh, all the data from the back end so what we are going to do here let us delete this uh, just now we have updated and let us update the HTML uh, as for the documentation so as you can see here in the first line it is going to extend the base.html so as per the Django concept let's say if you would like to have this uh, you know the master page rendered on the all child page so let's say the master page in uh, as per the Django is base.html so you have to extend this and then we are going to load the Wagtail code tags and obviously like these are the things like which we have seen in the earlier screencast and then we have a content block and inside the content block we have uh, two different uh, uh, fields here right so one we have page dot title right so this page uh, is essentially going to be the index page right index page title and then uh, whatever the introduction intro that we have put it on the index page that is going to reflect here right so let us go and copy this HTML page and let us paste it inside this uh, uh, blog underscore index underscore page dot HTML right and then uh, if let's say we have the child post inside the index page so that's that's how you can see here inside a for loop for post in po page dot get underscore children right that means uh, whatever the 
post we are going to publish that post we have to publish inside the chai blog index page itself and if you go and do like this then only it will uh, show up all the post here right so now just save this and go and uh, refresh this page so now uh, here you see uh, this template blog index let's see why this is coming like this uh, template blog index uh, we have missed out to import uh, low extend the base.html so let's uh, have this also here on top of this save this and then uh, go and refresh this page so that has gone away now we have the blog and this is my blog index page so this blog index page is essentially the uh, intro right so intro that we have given so if you uh, let's say go and give it in has to tag and this blog or let's say if you are giving wagtail demo blog and go and publish it so we have wagtail demo blog right uh, but whatever uh, let's say you are giving as a title uh, ensure like you know you have uh, the slug as the blog itself uh, if you have a different slug uh, maybe you will have some error but uh, uh, if you want you can have your own slug also but uh, initially you keep it the slug as a blog itself right so we have uh, made these changes and then uh, if you can see so this is how it is uh, getting reflected right so now uh, if you browse through the documentation again uh, so now it uh, says like uh, we have the blog index page ready now we are going to create a blog page right so wh what what is the difference between blog page and blog index page is blog index page like i said uh, uh, it is it is going to be the page where all the blogs will reflect over there and then if you go and click on the individual blog it should redirect you to the separate blog right uh, individual blog so this is how uh, blog index page and the blog page going to work right thank you so much once again for watching this screencast